Good afternoon, Robert. How are you doing? Bob, I'm doing great today. It's good to see you, sir. Well, it's good seeing you. Um, you have a new uh, office. I do, uh, thanks to the Mariposa County Board of Supervisors who thought we should be in a more recognizable place than we were before. Uh, the new address is 5138 Highway 41, or essentially at the four-way stop in Mariposa, right in with the right in next door to the visitor center. Hmm. So, um, tell me a little bit about what you do. Well, we're here to help veterans apply for any benefits that they may have earned while they were on active duty. It also can include the widows and survivors of, pension, of veterans, children of disabled veterans, and a very popular and important thing are college fee waivers through the state of California. Mm. Any veteran, any child of a veteran, uh, of a disabled veteran, excuse me, uh, can get a mandatory tuition fee waiver at any state university, state college, or junior college, uh, public ed public universities only. Okay. Um, how many veterans do we have here in Mariposa County? That's a very good question. Uh, based on the most recent census and the Department of Veterans Affairs estimations, it is probably between 1,800 and 2,000. Okay. You gave me a very precise number. Yes, I told you that my more precise number, and this is my best guess, is about 2,025. 2,025. And um, I, you mentioned also that uh, that number is going down every year? Yes. Uh, the veteran population is estimated to go down each year, and that's in every county in the United States, and that's because of the downsizing of the military in the last few years. There is no longer a draft, so there's just simply fewer people going into the military, thus fewer veterans. And we're dying off. The older ones, yes. <laughs> uh, the ones up in the age group that you and I are in are leaving the planet. I'm older than you, Robert. <laughs> okay. Um, at any rate, uh, do we have any kind of an outreach uh, or what have you for veterans here that may not be aware of the services? Yes, there are uh, outreach through the local newspaper through things just like this little interview. Uh, it's a great way to get to people who may or may not know the benefits that are available or whether or not they have friends or children or lo other loved ones who might qualify. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a stand down going on at the Oakhurst Community Center on June 18th and it's a great chance to for veterans in the mountain communities to get in connection with the VA. The VA will have people there and it's a good good group and the uh, I'm looking at a document that I have over here just to be sure I don't misquote the time. It starts at nine o'clock and ends over at two o'clock and that's at the Oakhurst Community Center which is 39800 Fresno Flats Road in Oakhurst. Again, that's the Oakhurst Community Center. You can easily find that online. Uh, there are counselors from the VA there. Uh, for veterans who may just need a hand, there's free haircuts. Ve military gear for veterans who may need something help extra, and that, that's oriented, sadly, towards homeless veterans who may need additional uh, things to support them. Uh, also, free lunch, soft drinks, and water. Excellent. Sounds like a place to be. Bob, I really appreciate what you did. Uh, you've been helping me out here for the past few hours. And uh, 
I think we're pretty lucky to have you in our county. Uh, I, I appreciate what you've done for me and, and um, thank you. Well, thank you and uh, I'm sorry it's taken us so long, my fault, not yours, to get this interview done. And maybe we can do this again sometime uh, when we've got some news that may be of interest to local veterans. Meanwhile, I'd like to ask any veteran or any relative of a veteran or a friend of a veteran who sees this and thinks they might be able to do something for that vet, give me a call. I'm at 209-966-3696. Again, that's 209-966-3696. Nine, six. If I'm not here, leave a message and I will get back to you. Thank you, Robert. Have a great day. Thank you, Bob.